Here's a fun way to think of sass and bourbon. If this guy, this little Steve Rogers here, is CSS, when he gets injected and becomes buff, he becomes sass, right? Now if you add bourbon, you're adding his whole Avengers team on it. You got bitters and uh, refills and neat, and they, together they create an awesome, uh, you know, world-saving team of, of bitter and plus extensions. I'm starting off with a simple file called example and a really simple index.html here. Let me show it to you. It's just a, you know, it's bare bones HTML outline, and we have one link to a style sheet called app.css. So. We don't have anything else in this directory, so we're gonna have to make my app.css right now. And we're gonna do that by creating a folder called CSS. And in that folder, we can create a new file called app.sass. Now, I'm gonna use app.sass to be the endpoint for all of my sass. It's all gonna be compiled right to here and then output to app.css, which is linked to in uh, my document. If, so if I write body and say background is going to be a CCC, like a light gray, we need to find a way for this back, background to be compiled into a app.css. Uh, app now the way that we're going to do that is we're going to install SAS on our machine. And then from there, we're going to go in and install the things we've been talking about, bourbon, uh, bitters, neat, and also we're going to use refills. So starting with SAS, I'm going to say sudo install, uh, or gem install, SAS. And my password is, just kidding, I'm not telling you. Um, great, we have a SAS install. Now I'm going to uh, do the same thing for, for uh, bourbon. sudo gem install bourbon. I'm going to wait while that installs, and looks like it's all good. So let's uh, get SAS running. Uh, open a new tab, and I'm going to need a CD into my uh, working directory. So that's going to be my desktop and example is what I call this thing and then uh, CSS. Now that I'm in there I'm going to write uh, sass dash dash watch. I'm going to identify my sass file app.sass and I'm going to say colon to identify the output file. I want it to be app.css and go. Okay, looks like it it's all good. It's, it, it wrote the new app.css right here, background CCC. And when I refresh my browser window right here, I can see in the background it's this nice, nice light gray. And I can also notice that SAS is watching this directory for changes, and I can stop it any time by pressing Control C. So um, if I change this to uh, pink, then my uh, browser window will be a background of pink. Pretty easy, okay. Oops, that was wrong thing. So uh, let me show you how SAS will overwrite my style. So uh, I changed the, C the CSS to pink to get you this browser, um, but I, uh, so, yeah, so I did the big no-no. You don't ever wanna change the body, you wanna change the SAS, because I just, when I ran SAS again, or rather when I saved my SAS and the SAS application in my command line rewrote my output CSS. So now my body is green. So, all right, uh, I'm gonna change this background. Actually, I don't even care what the background is. The first thing I wanted to show you guys is Bourbon and how that works. To, to understand Bourbon and to work with Bourbon, we have to install it. The first thing I have to do is CD into my projects folder, which is on the desktop and it's called example and CSS. And I have to say bourbon install. Cool, 
Now when I go over here to my, my project folder, I can see that bourbon is a new folder inside of, my, inside of my CSS. Now this would be okay if I wanted to kind of keep it small, but I want to also show you guys how I architect my SAS to allow for bigger projects to happen later on. What I want to do is, is since this bourbon is not my code, it's a plugin that I don't want to be altering too much, I want to shove that into a folder called Zero Plugins. Um, plugins. And there's the plugins. I also want to create a new a few of these of these folders here. Uh, a new folder called uh, One uh, Base. That shouldn't be in my plugins folder. It should be my set, my CSS. And I want to make another folder called Two Modules. And the final one of this type is Three Layouts. Now this is great. Uh, inside of these, I can put a file called, I'm going to call this one plugins dir dot and I'm going to do the same thing for each one of these major folders. This one is going to be called base dash dir dot sass modules dot or dash dir dot sass and finally layouts dash dir dot sass now I use these directory files as a way to import everything in the directory and that way when I'm writing my app.sass I can do something as simple as import uh, <clears throat> What do I want to import? Zero dash plugins slash plugins dash dir. And I'm going to do this four times. This is going to be base. This is going to be modules. And it's going to be layouts. Same here. Layouts. It's going to be three, two, and one base and modules. Cool, so these are sucking in, or rather importing these files here, and then when I, when, when I want to add to any of these types of, of directories, I can just add it to the smaller directory. I don't have to worry about going into my bigger one and kind of finding where it, can, where it wants to go because honestly, these can get quite big. But we're going to start small. And now the first thing we're going to do is add Im import uh, bourbon slash bourbon. Okay. So um, let's take a look at our SAS compiling. It looks like everything compiled just fine. And look at our output CSS. Great, we have a blank page, that is fantastic. The reason I'm happy about that is because Bourbon is a library of uh, plugins, not, sorry, mix-ins and uh, functions and helpers, add-ons. So, it's not actually going to render down to any CSS without initializing it yourself. Like, it's not going to do anything on its own. It needs to be. These are just tools in your tool belt to use at any one time, and they're going to not. And they're not going to add any bulk to your project. And I really like that about it. I, I really like that about it.